Hello, my name is Mackie. And I'm Jonah. And this is TCTV. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. The sophomore class will be having a spirit night fundraiser at Chili's and Alliance tonight. Please mention Timber Creek when ordering. The National Technical Honor Society meeting will be on Tuesday, November 10th at 345 in room 217, Mr. Gonzalez's room. I'm in M113 with the Timber Creek debate team, preparing for a tournament that they will be doing this weekend. Now, they do a lot of different events in this team, and we're going to be looking at how they prepare and compete in several of these. So, can you describe what poetry is? Um, it's basically a deep, like, emotional feeling towards a piece of poetry that someone's wrote, and it's basically how you feel about it, and usually this event's, like, really deep and emotional for everyone. What do you do pr to prepare for this event? Usually you have to get in like your feelings and you have to get into a certain character to prepare for it so everyone can see where you're coming from with this character because it's it's emotional, you know. <laughs> so what event do you do for debate tournaments? I do original oratory and impromptu speaking. Or original oratory is where you deliver a memorized 10 minute speech and uh, impromptu speaking is you draw three topics and you get one minute to prepare a five minute speech on one of them. For OO, I spend a lot of time during the week editing my speech and practicing it more and for impromptu sometimes I'll do uh, practice rounds with it and pulling topics. What event do you all do for debate tournaments? Uh, we do CX policy debate. Okay. Um, what is that event? It is a form of debate. This is partner styled and it involves planning for government. Uh, what do you do to prepare for this event? Uh, if you're AF, you, you learn how to spread. And if you're dead, I guess you learn how to think on your feet. Very policy practices. These are beautiful words about the police and Spreading is a technique used by CX debaters to fit a 10 minute case into a 7 minute speech. Yes, she is speaking English, and she's doing it rather well, forming an intelligent case. So, what does your team do to prepare for tournaments like this? Uh, we we practice a lot. Uh, I've got a lot of different events that are going on in the room, so it's kind of like juggling, and I've got to rotate the kids, you know, in and out so that I can see all their different pieces and discuss the, the topics that they have. So. Okay. What's your favorite part about tournaments? Uh, of course, uh, winning. No. Uh, the thing I like about tournaments is watching the kids come away with more confidence, um, the excitement that they get when they do well and just seeing them have fun and, and build team uh, relationships. For TCTV, I'm Emily Gogol. Congratulations to the TCHS Swim and Dive team for winning their last three dual meets. The 19th annual Keller ISD Casey's Kids Fun Run will be held Saturday, November 14th at the KIC Natatorium. Proceeds from the 5K one mile fun run are kept locally to benefit disadvantaged Keller ISD families and are distributed by KISD school counselors. Early registration ends Friday, November 6th to guarantee a KC Kids Fun Run t-shirt. If you are turning in a paper copy to your school, please have it there by 10 a.m. If you are registering online, please do it before 11.59 p.m. After November 6th, the price increases to $30 for all 5K entries and $25 for all one-mile entries, including late registration, which will be accepted until 7.30 a.m. the day of the event. The one-mile fun run will begin at 8 a.m. with the 5K following at 8.30 a.m. and will be held at the Natatorium. Let's do it up. Choir cookies. Woo! They taste nice. Why your cookies? Crap, crap! Come take a bite.
TV. Great. It's only November. It's not even Thanksgiving yet. Yeah. Jeez. Timber Creek students, don't forget to return your library books and pay any fines you may have. The Timber Creek basketball team will be hosting ninth grade tryouts on November 5th through the 7th. Times will be Thursday and Friday at 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturday at 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. All players wanting to try out must have a physical or they will not be allowed to try out. They must also be wearing basketball shoes, shorts, and a t-shirt. We're launching our gliders. All right. The point actually should be for them to get, attain a height, glide, and land properly. As you can see, most of them didn't quite do that. That's all for your morning announcements. Have, Have a fantastic awesome day. day.